Minister James Dudgett, my lords and MPs, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning. Welcome to our special online reception to celebrate the 71st anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. This year's National Day of China and Mid-Autumn Festival fall on the same day. So today we gather together to mark the auspicious double happiness and share double blessings. Since New China was born 71 years ago, tremendous changes have taken place in the country. Today, China has taken on a new look under the strong leadership of the Communist Party of China, and thanks to the painstaking efforts of the Chinese people. China has made great leaps from gaining independence to becoming prosperous and growing strong and creating a miracle in the history of human development. China's overall national strength continues to grow as the second largest economy, the largest industrial country, the largest trader in goods, and the biggest holder of foreign exchange reserves. Today's China is an important engine of world economic growth. The Chinese people enjoy a stronger sense of achievement and happiness with the per capita gross national income exceeding 10,000 US dollars and 850 million people lifted out of poverty. China adheres to the basic national policy of opening up and actively expands global partnership. It pursues peaceful development and continues to be a builder of world peace, a contributor to global development and a defender of the international order. It is committed to working with the people of all countries to build a community with a shared future for mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, 2020 is an extraordinary year. The COVID-19 pandemic added complete complication on top of the world's ongoing profound changes and seen in the century. China has met the difficulties head on, forged ahead in solidarity and cooperation with other countries and made new contribution to peace and development of mankind. First, China has lived up to its responsibility as a big country and contributed to global solidarity in fight against COVID-19. In face of the unexpected outbreak of the disease, China has put people's lives and interests first. In open, transparent, and responsible spirit, China has joined hands with the rest of the world to tide over the tough time. In record time, China has informed all parties of the outbreak, published the genetic sequence of the virus, and share experience of prevention, control, and treatment with the whole world. When called to assist, China dispatched 34 medical expert teams to 32 countries and sent 283 shipments of assistance to more than 150 countries and international organizations and provided and exported protective materials to more than 200 countries and regions. On global response to COVID-19, China supported the World Health Organization in playing a leading role and called on countries around the world to build a global community of health for all. China also pledged two billion US dollars over two years to help with the COVID-19 response. At the 75th session of the UN General Assembly not long ago, President Xi Jinping said, China will provide another 15 million US, 50 million US dollars to the UN COVID-19 Global Humanitarian Response Plan. Talking about the vaccine, 
that China is developing now. President Xi said, when their development is completed and when they are available for use, these vaccines will be made a public good. They will be provided to other developing countries on a priority basis. All these are China's concrete actions to provide strong support for global fight against COVID-19. Second, China has played its due role and injected confidence in world economic recovery. In face of the devastating impact of pandemic and severe challenge of the global economic downturn, China has made good progress in getting the economy running again and worked vigorously to maintain the stability of global industrial and supply chains. The Chinese economy has stayed strong and demonstrated a robust momentum of recovery. The GDP increased by 3.2% in the second quarter, making China the first economy to register growth. China has been deepening reform and opening up and introducing the dual circulation growth pattern. This will enable China to share with the world the dividends of its development. China has taken the initiative to promote international economic cooperation by pursuing greater open up and offering three major exhibition platforms, namely China Import and Export Fair, China International Fair for Trading Services, and China International Import Expo. In the post-pandemic era, China will remain an engine and an opportunity for the world economy. Third, China has been fulfilling its global responsibility on providing solutions to world peace and development. Against the surging tide of unilateralism and protectionism, China holds high the banner of multilateralism and openness and cooperation. Against the dangerous trend of a new Cold War and decoupling, China works vigorously to promote a new type of international relations featuring win-win cooperation. Against the global challenges such as climate change, cybersecurity and terrorism, China actively participates in global governance and international cooperation. Recently, at a high-level meeting to commemorate the 75th UN anniversary, President Xi Jinping reaffirmed China's solemn commitment. He said, China will never seek hegemony, expansion, or sphere of influence. We have no intention to fight either a cold war or a hot war with any country. We'll continue to narrow differences and resolve disputes with others through dialogue and negotiation. China will continue to be a true follower of multilateralism. It will stay actively engaged in reforming and developing the global governance system. It will firmly uphold the UN-centered international system, firmly uphold the international order underpinned by international law, and firmly defend the UN's central role in international affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, time and tide wait for no one. The past 71 years of the founding of New China have seen both China and UK undergoing tremendous changes. The 71 years have also witnessed remarkable progress in China-UK relations, despite ups and downs, especially in the past decade or more. Trade between our two countries doubled. Chinese investment in the UK increased 20 times. The annual mutual visits doubled, reaching 2 million. The number of Chinese students studying in the UK nearly doubled, increasing from 120,000 to 220,000. At present, the UK is China's third largest trading partner in Europe. China is the UK's third largest export market for goods. And the UK is China's second largest investment destination in Europe. All these facts fully demonstrate 
that China and UK are mutually beneficial partners and the development of China-UK relations serves the fundamental interests of our two countries and our two peoples. Both China and UK are permanent members of UN Security Council and countries with global influence. A stable and sound China-UK relationship not only serves the common interests of China and UK, but also contributes to world peace and prosperity. We have a thousand reasons to make this relationship successful and not one to let it fail. To this end, it is of great importance that both China and UK abide by the following three principles. First, we should respect each other and maintain the political foundation of China and UK relations. Our experience tells us that as long as our two countries observe the basic principles governing international relations, especially the principles of mutual respect for sovereignty, territorial integrity, and non-interference in each other's internal affairs, China-UK relations would move forward. Otherwise, the relations would suffer setbacks or even retrogression. Therefore, we should respect each other, regard each other as opportunities rather than threats or rivals, and strengthen strategic dialogue to deepen political mutual trust. Second, we should pursue mutually beneficial outcomes and expand our common interests. China and the UK have highly complementary economies, deeply integrated interests, and extensive cooperation. In the post-pandemic and the post-Brexit era, China and the UK have a huge potential for cooperation in trade, investment, finance, science and technology, education, public health, and other fields. Our two countries also enjoy broad prospects for cooperation in addressing global challenges, such as safeguarding multilateralism, promoting free trade, and tackling climate change. China and the UK should seize the opportunity and continue to dovetail our respective development strategies, leverage our respective strengths, and promote better connectivity of our markets and resources and make the pie of common interests bigger, so as to deliver concrete benefits to our two peoples. Third, we should properly manage differences and keep China-UK relations moving in the right direction. China and the UK differ in social system, history, cultural, and national condition. However, we have more consensus than differences. We need cooperation more than competition. The two sides should always remain rational and mature, oppose the so-called new Cold War and decoupling rhetoric, reduce and eliminate the understanding deficit and the trust deficit, and continue accumulating and expanding consensus. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the changing international situation and the region of the COVID-19 pandemic cannot stop China and the UK from working together for win-win cooperation. Nor will they shake the confidence of the people from all walks of life in both countries to seek common development and promote friendship. I'm confident that China and the UK will emerge from the pandemic with a stronger relationship, broader cooperation, and deeper friendship between our two peoples. Let us work together to overcome difficulties and build a brighter future for our two countries and for the world. Today, though we do not have a glass in hand, may I offer my best wishes to the 71st anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China to the steady and sound development of China-UK relations, to world peace and prosperity, to the happiness 
and well-being of all of you and your families. Thank you.